Hey guys, and thanks for stopping by Design by Kathy today. Um, for this video, I've had several people ask how I did the horse. Well, I didn't do a video on the horse because I really wasn't happy, totally happy with him actually, but I've been pleased with, you know, your comments. So I thought we'd do one today. Uh, it's been a while since I did this one, so huh, bear with me if I make boo-boos, but um, I'm gonna try to recreate uh, the, the horse and this will be a swipe and we'll be using stencils. So let me get set up and let's get started. So what I've done to do the horse silhouette is I have cut out, um, I've cut out my horse head on my, <clears throat> with some, just some vinyl from my Cricut machine. Now, if you're not a Cricut user, I'm sure you can find a, a stencil. Whoops, his ears did not, there we go. Find a stencil uh, or find a friend that has a Cricut machine. Um, if you don't use the vinyl, you can use contact paper or something that's going to be good and sticky. My starting, I want him kind of in the middle, not really. I don't know why that. main thing you want to do is make sure these little edges are down really good so that your paint won't go up underneath it. It may bleed a little bit, but once we, we do our swipe part, we'll come back, I'll come back and have to you know, hand paint in around his face here. So I'm gonna turn him around where you can see him. And I'm gonna start with just black and just with a brush, paint in right here around, well, his face, his nose, his muzzle. And we wanna get to this place where, you know, if you're a horse person, where his mane would be coming out. So now I've got these three colors, well, three, three colors that we're gonna use. I have a metallic antique gold, and of course I've got black, and then I have a calypso, calypso blue, and real blue. So I'm just gonna come along here and just drizzle some little lines, just back and forth. I've added to my paint uh, a one to two ratio of my flood Floatrol pouring medium. And I've also added just a couple of drops of my sil the silicone treadmill, um, treadmill belt oil. So now I'm gonna pour just a little kind of a thicker line here along the bottom edge of, you know, the main part of his head. And I want it all the way over because we want this to go all the way, all the way down. 
and there were those little things I was looking for. I'm gonna suggest, you know, have your paper towels ready. Um, I'm gonna be using, this is just a little cake decorating tool. You can use a spatula, you can even use a paper towel. I like this little tool. Um, but either, any of those things will work. So I'm just gonna take my little spatula, and that's probably not the proper name for it, but my cake decorating tool, and I'm gonna lightly drag over my colors here. Places that you want to get color back into. I'm just gonna drag it, just gently, very gently, drag it back over the black and you'll see it'll start to form the cells just naturally. Now there will be a little bit of a um, little bit of a bleed that's going to come, you know, with when we remove the vinyl and what possibly got up underneath. But what you're going to have to do is once this dries, and what I'm going to have to do is once it dries, come back and paint this section. Now, in this case, I'm not loving his ear. <laughs> Again, that's what I had trouble with before. I'm gonna just come back and just do some swipes along here. I'm just trying to think, I'm thinking about how a mane would naturally flow. I'm just gonna take his ear with me. can't lift him up too much. I don't want it to start off flowing. I don't want it to do any more flowing than what it's doing naturally. But like I said, once this dries, we'll come back in. I am hoping, 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 hoping like crazy that I will be able to put his head, this, this back over him and then paint around that. So it'll be a little easier to, to paint around it. But anyway, so that's how we do the horse. And um, I, I, would like for it to get completely dry and be able to show you the finished. I hope that before I get done with all my editing and, and work and, and somewhere throwing going to the grocery store today, that it'll dry enough that I can do the do the, uh, the background here for you. But anyway, that is how the horse, it's done with a swipe. Um, you can experiment with making his head bigger. I went smaller. I don't suggest smaller. This is a 12 by 16 canvas. I don't, I don't recommend smaller for this. 
um, the bigger, the better, I think, to have the silhouette of the face of whatever you choose. But this is the horse, and um, as you may or may not know, I am, was, or, huh, well, always will be a horse person, so I love anything with horses on it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, uh, and I so appreciate your likes, shares, and look forward to your comments, and hey, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you, guys, and have a great day.